Hello and welcome back to Succubus. Apparently while I was gone, the developers updated the game to add all this uh, Halloween stuff to the area. And I do think that uh, Halloween this stuff is uh, something you're able to just have in general. Halloween. Although Hallowed is different. I hope that remains an option. Like, just something you can choose at any time. Because Halloween is my favorite holiday. And I just absolutely love the pumpkins and coloration and lighting they have going on here. Anyways, a few things before we get into the gameplay. The first is... Uh, if you are interested in, uh, playing the game and having the armor effects, but you don't want to see them in cutscenes, you just want to see the succubus completely naked, there is an option for that. I'm gonna turn this on. Where you can turn the, these off, and it does lead to an achievement, I cannot decide... And the second thing is, uh, hopefully you haven't been following this playthrough one-to-one -one during your own playthrough. Because in the mission where you fight Baphomet, there's an achievement for uh, taking a selfie. You just need to have selfie mode with him in the background. And that will net you the achievement, and you can get that in the very first level. Unfortunately, you can't just go back to the first level and play through it again and get to the same boss fight. But Baphomet will return in a later uh, level. Just do a little walkthrough, show off the Halloween swag. I uh, get it. It's also a Halloween hammer, which, uh... That's a... Bit of an upgrade, bit of a downgrade. It's a side grade. Stun home run. I genuinely wonder, and I'm not, you know, memeing or anything, if the reason they have that as a special ability is due to that one video I made. Alright, road map. Very convenient feature, being able to just uh, head over to the derelict city. The ruins of a city that was once intended to be erected in honor of the Red Goddess. In connection with her departure, construction ceased, and this place plunged into a conflict between the followers of the Goddess and the demons who served her. So it's interesting that there is some semblance of, like, civilization in Hell, or was going to be. Complete level, kill with tentacles 10, inflict wounds. Wounds or maybe damage. <laughs> Pumpkin hat. So uh, bring out the hammer. All right, these are uh, kind of new enemy type where they constantly respawn from uh, some bone piles. These ones right here that you need to break these down and then it'll stop them from constantly respawning. Uh, in the in a previous uh, demo of the game, like the final one before the game's release, you had to like uh, destroy a certain amount of the skeletons first before you were able to attack their respawn point, or at least that's what it seemed like. 
Oh, there's some uh, eggs over there. Let's see if we can do the achievement. Yep. So you want to pull the eggs toward you and then kick them at the enemy for the achievement. But it seems they've changed that a bit where now you can destroy the bone piles directly. And uh, stop the skeletons from spawning uh, fairly quickly. Fuck you in particular, dude. I actually kind of remember this area from uh, one of their live streams. Because they were, uh, they did very, very often uh, do live streams of. And just new trailers and clips and stuff. Nope, was, wasn't able to kick him off. Actually communicating with the general community about how things are going. Oh, hey. Where are you coming from? Alright, well, one of the challenges is kicking them into tentacles. Let's, uh... Come on, bitch, this is Halloween. Get over there. Yeah, they're all skeletons. Nope. Wow, that guy tanked that hit like a boss. <laughs> Down into a pit. And there's pro Oh, what? More skeletons? Where are you spawning from, guys? This guy. He's hanging out there having a little dicknic. Maybe they're not spawning from anything. Maybe they're just, uh... Well, they did spawn from something, but it's just like the game just put them down here. Let's see if we can kick skeletons into tentacles. Well, sort of, but not really. Is that you? Dick. Oh no, it's you. Oh, gotta destroy the orbs again. Launch that guy into a stratosphere. Never mind. 
The look on your face says enough. There's shade. Alright, so that was a fairly short and contained level. So I guess that shows uh, the kind of levels you'd get. There's some where you have to go from point A to point B, and then there's some that are basically just an arena. Map instead. And then this is sort of a arena that you can play and get high scores on. In this case it's how fast you're able to beat it, but I think I will wait before doing anything like that and can go back to story mode if you want. The Arena of Sacred Blood. Built in extreme conditions, the fighting arena is still standing. This is where many warriors demonstrated their skills for the first time before the Red Goddess. Her holy blood, which blessed the arena, continues to give them the necessary lust to kill in the fight. Uh, complete level, kill 20 with spikes, and kill with a scythe. Alright, let's uh, equip... My good scythe. Uh, this is also an area from one of the demos. I recognize this opening cutscene. Alright, let's uh, look towards that uh, bonus goal. If uh, finishers count, like with the scythe stuff, that doesn't really seem like you can actually kick skeletons, though. Can kill them at least. Uh, unfortunately, those don't seem to be collectibles. I guess those are just statues, never mind. Probably come to life when I enter the arena. Yep. Alright, let's lead them to the spikes. Ah. Oh, getting caught there. These guys, these flying guys, you want to pull towards you. Yeah. Come here. Quit it. Go. Go be dumb somewhere else. I'm trying. Get out of here, man. I'm trying to go for an achievement. Alright, well, I technically got it. You want to kick these guys into the spikes. Seriously, go- Fuck off. Annoying. Star. 
Alright, I think I should be close to getting the spike part. Us. Uh, that is a masculine fucking voice from you, pal. With a rack like that. And uh, here comes a chort. Shorts are basically boss fights or mini boss fights, I guess would be more accurate. You'd love to touch me, wouldn't yeah. you? Short. The short is a massive enemy. He is not affected by kicks and executions. Try to keep him at a distance or wait for him to jump. He's more vulnerable to attacks after landing. Oh, it can actually keep track, which, uh, did not get the kind of spike kills I needed. Alright. So you can wait for him to lunge and then wail away on him. Then kind of repeat that. These uh, flying shitters will uh, keep coming after you, though. Go away. Question. I suspect the chart is your favorite creature to kill and sleep with. Is it true they can reproduce using their exploding guts? Getting my ass kicked here. <sighs> Scythe's uh, powerful enough you can do one hit and then spam the finisher. This only got 16. I could swear I got more. Oh. Alright, got 20 there. Now I just need to kill everyone else with the scythe. Again, hopefully the finishers do count as scythe kills, cause uh, it's kind of what you need. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I got that one. All right, cool. Where the fuck did the chort go? I think I might have killed the chort uh, without even realizing it. But there we go. Got those bonus ones. Got quite a few souls as well. And yeah, they have a ranked mode. Oh. Home sweet home, nothing like kicking off your hooves and just relaxing on a fleshy couch. I wonder what's in the torture vision tonight. Kidding, kidding, just some human juxtaposition. So you have like some form of hell TV. I wonder if this means like I've done all the bonus challenges.
Uh, Speedrun strats. Sheer fucking goofiness. Not per usual. Let's see if I can... Oh, they're already aggroed. But those guys aren't. go now they are so I've got a uh, two tentacle kills so far now I got five all right so it does count when they do like run into the tentacles themselves That kind of looks like the bear from Scorn. Alright, is there any, uh... Anything over here for me to collect? I hear some babies! Oh, there's a collectible. Nice. Let me put that away. Don't think there's exactly many branching paths. It's a scythe, but I already have one, and it's better than that. You know who should make an appearance in this game? The bricklayer from Agony. The guy stacking stones on babies. That is... That is someone we want to see return. Alright, that's uh, collectible. I remember seeing those in one of the demos. Alright, so let's see. I have 6 out of 10 tentacles. And I will be putting hopefully the rest in these tentacles. And I got them all. Nice. Wants us to go there, so we're gonna look around. Any hanging? Up! Oh, I hear babies. Where are you? There you are. Says only got 16, but I clearly got more than that. One, two, three, four. That should be all of them. Yes. There we go. So I'm. What the fuck is going on up there? So I'm genuinely unsure. Oh, the entire previous area disappeared. I'm genuinely unsure if there's like a little bit more babies 
in the level than what you need. It seems almost like there's only the amount uh, that there's only like 20. And I got the achievement in the soup. You want to hit the guy flying over there in midair so he falls into lava. Yeah, we'll go for it. All filled up. Just how I like it. And I got the achievement shopping for that, so I guess you need to buy the uh, armor. Rather than just one of the weapons. Although that should have worked as well. Just because it's not super easy to knock them over this fence area. This little wall. See, it counts as only two there. That's four. So we can just do slow strats though, we don't have to do any rushing or anything. Get a little bit of distance between us. Yeah, I'm more concerned about the tentacles than anything. Not really sure how to do the other one. Into the hentai pit. Can't lead some people over here. This way. Well. Alright, that should be two more. Yep. One more. Really, off of here. Yeah. Alright, that was right on the tentacle. There we go, finally. Hell's never boring. That's a damn fact. It has to be. Because as soon as you get used to eternal suffering, the suffering sort of ends, does it not? Each day has to be worse than the one before it. That's why hell's always changing. Trying to undermine comfort. Heaven is boring. But down here, it's one hell of a ride. I mean, it doesn't look like it's constantly torture. Some people just seem to be hanging out and having fun. Alright, so attacking the skeleton does build up the meter, and so I think a good way to do this challenge is to just, like, kill some skeletons, wait for them to respawn, and repeat. Basically, farm damage with the skeletons. Because, you see, I got way higher uh, damage or wounds than I did previously. And the skeletons do respawn indefinitely. See, it's going up. Of the game saying, yep, you're wounding them. Now I'm almost at 50%. So you can see what a decent strategy this is. Then you can wound a skeleton, but I'm not complaining. This makes it uh, way easy to do. No. And clear. Into the baby pit. Uh, I have no idea where they go, but they certainly don't hang around here. That's cool. See, 
seems to kindle flames. Probably an area of effect thing. Look at this. See, it's supposed to be constant torture, but this guy is just hanging out. He is vibing. Look at that. No, he's not. Alright, and that gives us that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I gave you something to think about and otherwise entertained you. Take care.